Hey everybody, PC Outcast here. Today we are uh, doing a review of the tenants. So I got this uh, key from Frozen District. The developer is uh, Ancient Forge. Um, about a week ago, I think. Um, I, I don't know what the full release date was. I just see the uh, early access release date was March of 2021, but the uh, full release date was just a week or two ago. Uh, anyway, um, so I made it. I managed to uh, get all the way from the slums through the suburbs to Manhattan, and then the game broke. So I've made it here, but I can't really do much other than a few uh, renovation jobs. You're supposed to do three, and I've done four or five, but it says I've only done two, so I can't actually complete that. Uh, quest. Unfortunately. Speaking of bugs, there are a lot of them. And there's already been five bug fix patches since the game went lot, went to full, uh, full release. And there's still a lot of bugs. Now, most bugs can be fixed by exiting out to the main menu and reloading your game, but not all of them. So, that is on the downside. Uh, on the upside, the Music is great in this game. The um, art style is really nice. It's a little bit like uh, The Sims. In fact, this game is heavily, heavily inspired by The Sims. Um, but it's a nice art style that, you know, the kind of like uh, on the verge of, of a drawing style that won't really go out of style over time. Like this game would look perfect. Oh. There's another uh, little bit of a problem, stutters. The uh, the performance of the game is not very good. So that's another thing to, to worry about. But uh, art style is great. I, I like this type of thing. It looks good, but it's not going to age badly the way like realistic uh, art styles do. So that's always a plus in my book. And music is also a plus. Uh, the gameplay itself is gets a little bit grindy. You got to do a lot of, um, what would you call it, like renovation type of jobs where you, you like fix up a property and put, put furniture and stuff out like that. You do a lot of that and that's where you get the bulk of your money. Um, you start out doing, having to do a lot of that in the slums and then eventually when you get enough properties, you're making more money from, from rentals than you do from that. And then you move into the suburbs and the houses get way more expensive. So you got to do a lot more grinding of that and uh, just to be able to get like a house. And eventually you get into Manhattan. Now what I saw in Manhattan is you get roughly double. Mm, no, I want to say more like 50% more. For renovation jobs in Manhattan than you do in the suburbs. In the suburbs, you get probably probably another fifty percent more than you do in the slums. I'm saying I'm I'm going to say the slums is up to about ten thousand uh, dollars. Suburbs is up to about twenty thousand, just just shy of twenty thousand, and um, Manhattan is close to thirty thousand, which is still is it's I think it's too low for the uh, price of the properties because. Properties go from about fifty to a hundred thousand in the slums to like a million dollars in Manhattan. So uh, yeah, that, that's kind of sucky. Um, it also you have to do you have to like upgrade um, how many houses or how many uh, rental properties you're allowed to have. You start out being able to have I think one or two, and then you have to keep on paying more and more money to unlock more slots. So I got up to seven, I guess. No, five. I got uh, three in the slums with um, a couple of tenants doubling up in their in the properties, and then in, in uh, the suburbs I got two, and then Manhattan, of course, I couldn't get anything. Yeah, see there, it says that I completed four jobs, but when I load in here, it says perform jobs renovation two to three. Yeah. Anyway, this is what uh, Manhattan looks like in the game. We can uh, move around the game. It is a little bit laggy and stuff, but not too bad. All right, so that's what that looks like. And then we got the suburbs. We can go over here.
lots of loading screens, but uh, mostly just between sections of the city, so it's not too bad. Yeah, so it does get a little grindy. There's basically, there's only three types of jobs. You can do renovations, you can find a tenant for someone else. There's one of my, uh, one of my nicer properties. Um, find a tenant for like another landlord, or you can um, basically look after tenants for someone. So let's see if I can find, find uh, each of those. You go to the job thing. Here's one of the renovation jobs. This is probably in either in the suburbs or in Manhattan. So you've got a budget of 34,600 and you'll get paid 20,300 if you follow the guidelines and stuff. Now there's another renovation job there. Here's uh, one of these ones where you have to, can I pause? Yeah. Um, <clears throat> somebody's going on a business trip. I need somebody to look after my tenants. Basically all that is, is you're gonna get paid to do things like, uh, get rid of rats and cockroaches and stuff like that. And then the other one is this. Um, you get paid $3,000 to find a tenant that is not a painter, not a fast food worker, is between 31 and 41, and uh, you get a term, uh, lease term of at least 360 days. Now, the interesting thing is, you don't actually have to follow any of these things. You can find somebody who's younger or older than this, sign a lease that's shorter than that, and it uh, doesn't matter if they're a painter or anything. The game doesn't seem to care at all. You can just get anybody you want, and you can still get five stars. It's really weird. But I'll take it, I guess. Unfortunately, those things don't go up a lot in value. Um, so you kind of have a couple of those going at the same time that you're doing renovation jobs. And uh, yeah. Now, I would... Personally, if I'm gonna do like a renovation type game, I'd go for more something like House Flipper. Um, I think that's a little bit more, because it's like more first person. I would lean towards that. Uh, and you also can't build houses the way you can in The Sims. So you're, you're limited to just laying out furniture and painting the walls and stuff like that. So. I would have to suggest buying it on a sale. That seems to be a common theme with me, uh, with games I review. <laughs> you should just wait until it's on sale. And is it on sale right now? It is, well, it's, no, it's full price. It's $28.99, which isn't too bad. There's, I, you know, I got probably 40 hours of gameplay out of it. So, you know, it's not bad. It's not... It, I think it does a little bit of everything and nothing super well, but it's not terrible. And that is my review of the tenants. Thank you very much for watching. If you'd like to check out my uh, first impressions video where I played for like the first uh, 45 minutes or something like that, you can go and check out my Indian Early Access channel as well. And... Uh, Otherwise, please leave a like and um, comment in the in the comment section if you've tried the game or if you're considering it or if this uh, review made you lean one way or the other. Okay, thank you very much. See you guys next time.